Beast ass traders, what's up? It's your boy Billionaire. I'm in my bed, but I'm in my bag. So what I want to do right now is explain to you in three minutes how to trade the trend. All right. Now, trading is very, very simple. You just got to be able to understand which way the market is going and simply follow that direction, right? Whether it's up or it's down. Now, first thing you want to do is go ahead on the edge and move an average. Bam, there you go right there. This red line right here. Now, if you don't know how to do that, just simply come up into the FX right here, type in your move an average and go ahead on the add it. Now, the next thing you want to do, guys, understand this, right? When the market is trading under the moving average, right? Like it did right here, the market broke the moving average and started trading up under it, right? You want to start looking for more sell opportunities in the zone over here, right? Now, when the market starts trading above it, like it is over here, you want to start looking for more buy opportunities, right? So I actually had this area marked off this level of support down here at the bottom. So what I want to do now is go to a lower time frame. I'm on a four hour time chart, right? The higher the time frame, the stronger the trend, right? So um, you guys got to understand that, right? On a lower time frame, I'm going to go here and start looking for trade opportunities, right? Where I can enter the market. Now, I already know that the market is going up based on my moving average on the higher time frame. So what I want to do is start looking for more, um, more buy opportunities on the lower time frame, right? So the best time to enter the market on a lower time frame for buy opportunities is simply when the market is trading above the red moving average, right? Simple, right? Now, there are other tips and uh, techniques that I use. I don't just uh, only re uh, rely on the moving average, right? I do use support resistance trend lines, um, you know, confluence, stuff like that, Fibonacci and all other stuff and um, advanced harmonic patterns when I'm trading. And all I'm looking for are only buy opportunities, nothing else. I don't care about selling the market or nothing. I'm just looking for straight buy opportunities. For example, right here, this level of support all the way across the board, right? Check this out. I got this trend line right here. We all know that two or more touches on the trend line is a valid trend line, right? So market hit multiple times right here. One, two, I just simply go ahead and draw my trend line all the way out into the future. Now look what we have here. Sometimes what happens on the lower time frame is price will play up underneath the moving average, right? But still, I'm not looking for any sell opportunities unless I really know I can get a good sell opportunity and then I'm going to go for it just by counter churn trading, right? We can see that the market peaked below that moving average right here. But check this out. This trend line that I got connected right here all the way through, I know that if price breaks below that trend line, um, when price comes to that trend line, I could be looking for a potential buy opportunity, right? So when I start seeing price trading up under this, all right, bet I'm going to wait for price to come up here and hit this trend line, look for buy opportunities. You could have took buy opportunities out of this entire zone right here. Also could have caught another buy opportunity right here off this trend line as well. So again, you don't get faked out. On top of that, I could have simply used a Fibonacci that I utilized when I trade and the price came right here into my zone that I love to trade out of. I could have caught a nice buy opportunity out of that zone and with that trend line with confluence. So like I say, I don't just really, I don't just only rely on, um, on the trend line, right? I rely on other things as well as far as um, as far as trading and whatnot. Now, also check this out. Now, when price starts to um, trade below it, like I said, I'm not really looking for any type of opportunities for me to get into, involved in this trade. But I also do see I have a trend line right here going to the um, across the bottom right here. And I see that it hit multiple times, right? And even looking at this uh, market right here, I see that we got structure broken. Price started trading up under the uh, the moving average. Now, something like this, I could have took a trade off of this opportunity and caught that sell to the downside. And then when the market came right here, I could have bought it back up. Um, I could have bought the market to the upside because this is a valid trend line. So like I say, I don't just only rely on this moving average, but I do under, I do use it to give me a, a sense of direction in the market. Price started trading above it. Now, guess what I could have done? Simply grab my FIB, look for a nice uh, trade opportunity out of my zone. Uh, guys, if you, you know, I, I'm not really going over the whole Fibonacci thing right now, but I could have caught a buy opportunity out of that zone. Like I said, all I'm looking for are buy opportunities and the market started trading above it. And I know on a higher time frame that the market is trading above the moving average on a higher time frame. So that's all I'm looking for are buy opportunities, right? Market traded below it, came back and start consolidating on it. I'm buying this entire zone right here all the way to the upside, right? So again, um, like I said, I'm not just relying on uh, this moving average to, to, you know, take trades off of. I do use other things as far as the confluence and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, guys, this is how to trade the moving average. Um, how to trade the trend by simply adding the moving average on your chart. It can definitely help you out, keep you guys from getting faked out. And um, yeah, you know, if you guys want my mentorship, um, all you have to do is feel free to uh, DM me. I'm gonna have my Instagram in the bio. I'm also gonna, um, um, what else I'm gonna have? I'm gonna have my Instagram in the bio. You guys can reach out to me. Uh, feel free to drop a, uh, give me a like, drop a comment and give me a follow. 
going to be dropping more content for you guys. Hoping you guys take your trading to the next level. And guys, my goal and my wishes is that each and every one of you all become beast ass traders. This is your boy Billionaire. Once again, I'm in my bed, but I'm in my bag.